Hello and welcome, this is your boy Jack here to do another reaction video. This time I'll be reacting to HBO Max's The Witches starring Anne Hathaway. I'm actually curious to see what this is about. I have no idea. I've been sort of out of the loop loop when it comes to new movies and stuff like that. I've, I've been playing catch up and obviously I'm supposed to play catch up with this. Apparently it came out uh, on the 2nd of October, so that was three days ago. But you know what? As I always say, better late than never. Hopefully, I will improve and start dropping things a bit more close on the same day. So, it doesn't really matter. I'm curious to see what this is. It's been a while since I've seen anything from Anne Hathaway. And this looks interesting. It looks like a period piece, if I'm not mistaken. So, I, I, I can't wait to actually see it. So, uh, I guess without further ado, let's get this reacting party started. This is The Witches, starring Anne Hathaway. Let's go. Hold on. My story begins when I was a ah. young boy. <laughs> Chris Rock, okay. You'll be comfy. Voice here. over. Your mama's all wrong. I'd do anything for her to be here right now. Grandma was a tough lady with a big heart. And little by little, she brought me out of my sadness. Now, if you feel that you can't go on, darling, I didn't know it. But there was a dark shadow looming nearby. What is this about? Witches. They're real. And they hate children. Welcome. Wait a what second. Would you do? No, it's a. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this actually based on the series The Witches that was, I think, was back in the 80s? I mean, the reason why I'm saying that is because of the mice. The witches hate kids and it turned them into mice. Oh my god, it's a remake. I can't believe they're actually doing this. How we call the exterminator? You see, girls? He would exterminate those brats. <laughs> Uh, Interesting. Rats. We would exterminate the rats. Oh. I feared this was happening. Then here, that means a test is coming. Oh, wow, Robert Zemecki. I have a plan. Andro, to transform a child into a mouse. Yep. Mice. Mice. Whatever. <laughs> That's interesting. Grandma, it's me. Is that you, boy? We'll never let you get away with your filthy, evil plot. Who's gonna stop me? Doesn't matter who you are or what you look like, so long as somebody loves you. You wouldn't happen to be carrying around a mouse on your person, now would you? A mouse? Mm-hmm. Why on earth would I be carrying around a mouse? To make it just a, oh, I was going straight to HBO Max. Max. That's interesting. Um, I remember watching that as a kid, and I thought it was kind of scary. I don't, I don't remember who, who all, who the actresses were in the original, but. I do remember actually liking it as a kid. And so this is interesting to see them, you know, do a reimagining of it and update of it. So I don't know. I, I guess all I can say, you know what? I'll just have to wait and see how it goes and check it out on HBO Max. Well, it means I actually do have to subscribe to HBO Max. I haven't actually done that. I'm waiting until the plan was to wait until Justice League comes out. Then I'll, you know sign up then but who knows if they keep dropping some things that are very interesting that might catch my attention i might actually end up doing so so we'll just have to wait and see but on, honestly i think i actually like that i am i'm actually curious to see how it goes and see if it actually stands to the original i have to check to see if netflix actually has the original so that should be fun god i remember i do remember watching that as a kid i really liked it it was yeah you know, scrappy kids fighting against witches, even though they were mice and all that stuff. It was fun adventure, you know. Back then, I was like, I, 
I was um, I was into shows like Goonies and uh, movies like Goonies and the rest. I still like Goonies. I still like Goonies actually a lot. I can't wait for a sequel. I'm surprised that Robert Zemeckis is actually doing this while he's refusing to do a sequel to Goonies. I'm assuming he's responsible for that, if I'm not mistaken. So seriously, he needs to change. He needs to work on that. Or a reboot to, you know, Back to the Future. Why not? I know it's a classic, but you know what? Reimagine or, you know, 30 years later, whatever, 40 years later. Something, you know, present day, it's a continuation, not a reimagining. Or you could just do a reimagining and cast someone younger and see if you can actually take it in a different direction. That's just me. I don't know. I know a lot of people are like, no, don't touch the original. And it's like. It's okay to actually do a remake or continuation as long as it's done right. If it's done right, then it's great. It's usually because most of the uh, remakes or reimaginings are terrible. That's what causes the problem. All right. I seem to have someone at the door, so I'm going to have to pause for a moment. Sorry about that, but I guess I got to go. So let's just do what I do. So this is your boy, Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let's you know when next I drop a new vid. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. And if you've got nothing to say, just say, hey, that's absolutely okay. If you disagree or wish to expand on what I've said during this reaction video, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it. And with that said, this is your boy, Jack. Y'all take care and I'll catch you on the flip side.